Uh, well, you know, you met Alex, right? Boy, did she. Well, Ma, I thought it was you when I whipped back the shower curtain and said, surprise! It's <laughs> the last time I'm taking a shower naked. <laughs> Oh, One Day at a Time was a hit show back in the 70s and 80s. And some of the stars are reuniting this weekend for a pretty cool event. We are joined in studio by Mackenzie Phillips and Glenn Scarpelli, although I want to say like Julie and Alex because yeah. that's how we all know them. Let's talk about this show because what was so exciting is that when this was happening, a lot of us watched the show, we saw you come on, and you were coming back. It was like this weird little connection thing. So talk about what we saw and what was going on. Well, I left the mm -hmm. show for substance abuse issues. Mm -hmm. And then I came back. And while I was gone, the family inherited a, a young fella named yeah. Alex, yeah. which nice. was Glenn Scarpelli. And then we met. And it was just a, we fell in love. Kismet. Like, it's been kismet. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've been friends for. She's my sister. Yeah. And we became lifelong friends. And it's, it's been a beautiful relationship. Yeah, it's I been love so that. proud of this woman. Yes, I, I love it. And I, I, I have to imagine that because the show was so popular, it was such a hit, and you come on as a new player in the, in the whole show. Right. Was there a lot of pressure for you? I mean, you're a young kid. You're, you're coming onto this hit show. He became a heartthrob. Yeah. Immediately. <laughs> like that. There, there was definitely pressure. I had also loved the show. Mm -hmm. I watched all of Norman's shows. Mm -hmm. It was a big deal in the 70s going into the 80s. Yes. And um, being on the show was a dream come true. Truly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. And so now a lot of people are going to come and see you. They get a chance to get autographs and meet you, which that has to be really flattering that people, after all these years, I mean, the show was on in the 75, I think, through 75 80, to 84. Yeah, nine it's, it's, seasons. It's, it's an odd thing. Uh, there's, I don't know if everyone knows, but there's a, a, a whole sort of culture of collectors who collect memorabilia mm -hmm. and autographs of celebrities. Right. Mm -hmm. And this weekend, host, it's sponsored by Antenna TV uh, mm -hmm. this year, is The Hollywood Show. And so we will be there. Look, there's Rick Dreyfus. Oh. We'll be there with uh, Richard Mazur, who played David mm -hmm. on One Day at a Time. And we'll be there Friday and Saturday. And we'd love if everybody come out and say hi. Yeah, because yeah. it really is like a reunion. Yes. Definitely a reunion. And there's going to be several more. The Jeffersons, Marla Gibbs is going to be oh, with wow. us, which is so fantastic. And then Christopher Lloyd and Leah Thompson are coming for oh, a Back wow. to the Future reunion. Because yeah. it's about shows and movies. Shows yes. and movies, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And then there are, there are lots of memorabilia uh, vendors there mm -hmm. who sell movie posters and all kinds. It's very cool. It's a fun thing to do. It's, yes. Catching up with the fans, too. Is yes. so incredible. You know, we did that show. 40 years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it touched so many lives. Yeah, yeah. Like that, that clip we showed, 33 million people watched the return wow. of Mackenzie Phillips on one day at a time. Wow. And I didn't like, even know that. Yeah, I mean, that's a big deal. And today, mm -hmm. you know, you don't see those numbers. No, on you do not. No, there's no. just too many things, like, pulling uh, at people I was now. Right. hanging out with Valerie Bertinelli on, oh. set on Friday. Uh, did her uh, Food Network cooking show, Valerie's Home Cooking. Wow. Yeah, so yeah. We're, we're, still... we're all staying very close. Yes, yes, yes. We really do. Yeah. And it's what are you guys doing now? Well, I'm the director of referral relations mm -hmm. at a facility called Breed Life Healing Center mm -hmm. here in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. We're uh, a subacute trauma center that treats substance use disorder, mm -hmm. eating disorders, and mental health disorders. Wow, that's so amazing that you're it's doing amazing. that. It's amazing. I have found uh, a career that is as satisfying and fulfilling wow. as my acting career has been. Which is wonderful. They do angel work, truly. Yes. And yes. I'm so proud of this woman. And I own a local television station in Sedona, Arizona. Really? For the last 20 years. If you all haven't been to Sedona, please come visit us. Amy, we got to get you out I'm there. I'm coming. I'm coming. Because <laughs> it's so cool, right? Say the name of your TV station. Sedona Now TV okay. in Sedona, Arizona. Is, so it, is it 24 hours of one day at a time? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's 24 hours, one day at a time. There <laughs> Exactly. There you go. There you I go. love it. Thank you both for joining us. We certainly appreciate your time. Always great to have you. And Thanks. I'm going to come see you. Please, please. <laughs> we look so forward to it. Sedona's Perfect. amazing. Yeah. She yes. comes all the time. All right. And you can find more information about The Hollywood Show by going to kcal9.com and clicking Scene on TV.